This GeForce Now Thursday sees seven new games being added to the service this week, along with a handful of titles from THQ Nordic and a recent announcement that happened over at CES. So let's dive right in and get to it. Let's kick things off by talking about CES. As you all know, Nvidia recently announced the new Ultimate tier powered by 4080 SuperPods. I've already discussed it in various videos this week, so I'll keep it brief here. Up to 240 FPS support with Nvidia Reflex, RTX with DLSS 3, 4K streaming at 120 FPS, ultra-wide monitor support, and much more. All of it is coming under the new Ultimate tier, which replaces the 3080 tier at no additional cost. You can sign up for it today, but just be aware that quantities are limited and they will be upgrading these rigs in a rollout process, so don't worry if you're not seeing the benefits right away. The process for upgrading these rigs starts quarter one this year, so it's safe to say you can probably expect it sooner rather than later. For those interested, I will be doing a much more in-depth breakdown collecting all the information we know about the new Ultimate tier, so stay tuned to the channel for that. But now let's focus on the latest out of CES, and this time it has to do with HP partnering up with GeForce Now. Their latest laptops will be supporting the Omen Gaming Hub, which will give you straight access to GFN's library of over 1500 titles built right in. The Gaming Hub concept is something we're starting to see more of lately. First was Samsung with their TV lineup, LG is soon to follow, and now we have HP doing the very same. It seems like more and more devices are coming pre-installed with cloud gaming right out of the gate. While it may or may not matter to you as a consumer, I think it's very important to point out that this is actually a pretty big deal for cloud gaming. And that's simply because more people will become aware of what it is. And I'm not gonna lie, I think GeForce Now is in a very unique position to really impress of just how good it can be. I think it's only a matter of time before more TV and display manufacturers along with PC and laptop manufacturers start implementing gaming hubs of their own. But now it's time we get to the games arriving this week, of which there's seven, but I want to focus specifically on a handful of titles coming from THQ Nordic. The first of which is a game called Way of the Hunter. In it, you'll get to become the new owner of a hunting lodge nestled among gorgeous habitats and rich animal populations. You'll explore vast open world environments and hunt with a premium selection of firearms. The game features both solo and online cooperative play so you can take the hunt with some friends online, and it also has a story mode that faces the challenges of ethical hunting. Just be aware that Way of the Hunter heavily skews to the simulation aspect and you can pick it up over on Steam and the Epic Game Store. Up next is MX vs ATV Legends which you can pick up on Steam. In this one you'll get to race your way to victory on bikes, ATVs, and UTVs, featuring massive new open environments plus a new career mode that lets you experience all the risk and rewards of becoming a world famous professional rider. The game features a 2 player split screen and 16 player online mode, a whole new career mode where you get to make choices that lead to different paths, and a new trials mode for high intensity outdoor racing along with a ton of customization for you to enjoy. After that we have Destroy All Humans and Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed, each can be bought on Steam and the Epic Game Store. These are both remakes of a cult classic title from way back when, and truth be told, both are great games to even pick up and play today, they're just a ton of fun. It all takes place in the 1950s and you take on the role of an evil alien called Crypto137 who has to harvest DNA and bring down the US government. Both remakes have actually been very well received, so it's definitely worth checking out if this sort of title interests you. The last title being added from THQ Nordic is called The Valiant and you can pick it up over on Steam and the Epic Game Store. This game will have you embark on a journey of brotherhood and redemption in a squad based RTS set in 13th century Europe and the Middle East. In it you'll command and level up your medieval knights as you fight through the epic single player campaign and then take your skills online in both cooperative and competitive multiplayer modes. Can't say I know much about this strategy game, but it definitely seems like a bit of a love or hate it game based on the reviews, with difficulty playing a really big part of whether or not people enjoyed it. It seems to revolve more around micromanagement of your units to keep them alive rather than building units and buildings to produce them. Overall a pretty solid lineup from THQ and I'm glad to see more of their games come over to GeForce now. And while that does cover the majority of the new games arriving on GFN, there are still two others that will be getting support, and that's Tom Clancy's The Division 2, which is now available on Steam, and Dakar Desert Rally which you can pick up on the Epic Game Store. I won't be breaking down either since they're not new games to arrive on GeForce Now, it's just another option on how to play them via different storefronts, but it's always great to see GeForce Now add support when games launch on different platforms because it 
it lets us choose where we want to spend our money. But with that, we've wrapped up this Cloud Gaming News Day. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. And as always, I want to thank you all for the continued support of the channel. You just watching, hitting that like button or commenting really does mean a lot to me. And as per usual, I hope you have a great day. This has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related. And until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.